Okay. There we go. It's delayed. That makes sense. Properties. Filters. Oh, maybe I just love it. That is that should be better, I think. I've leveled it up from 80 to 90 in 10 minutes by doing fucking leave mates. Mm -hmm. The leave quests. And now wow. I can still do that, but I have to craft my own shit. I can't fucking accept any. Uh, they, they can't fucking accept anything that is crafted by other people. So basically, you can't cheese it by buying the, the material that the quest needs and then just giving it to the fucking. Oh, so thing. they basically, they're like, nope, you can't do it anymore. Yep, so that's whatever. Damn. They're literally like, well, since we know your players have been doing that, yoink. It makes me hate crafters now. Literally. Well, then. I thought it makes sense because of, uh, after what many players has been doing. No, I, I just hate it because we just want to level up our crafters fast. I know, I know you're doing that and wasted all my gold for no reason. That's what's pissing me off. Oh. Are you gonna do something or are you just gonna... Me? Cause I, I was trying to... Quick fiber elf that I could do. I don't need to take long. Uh, if only I had the actual white like, dye. It's expensive though. Maybe I have something else in mind for future stuff. <clears throat> oh well, I'll just stick with this for now. Until then. Uh, the best way to level up f f uh, faster, uh, Blaze, is literally doing a lot of fake grind and uh, queuing up for levels. I know how to play as Viper, thankfully. I was thinking something cool. 
But... Uh, sadly, this cool stuff I'm gonna do is like way higher level. And it's gonna require me to spend more money in this game. Which is skill, and I only have 91k. So, alright. Alright, chat. So, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna queue us up, and we are going to do the thing. I'm gonna do this just in case. I'm ready, don't mind, don't mind me. Wait, hold on. Yeah, sorry, hold on, I need to hear something. I guess I'll do this the old-fashioned way. Uh, fate grind. It's F A T E. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that's new. Hmm. What's wrong, hon? Don't worry about it. Uh, there's a just a yeah. Don't worry about it. Alright, all right. I trust you, your words on that. Don't worry about it. Alright, I'll queue us up. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, Han. I'm on the crafter. Oh. That's Don't okay. mind me, I'm sorry. You're fine, I'm saying anything bad to you. Oh, no, you wait, what happened to their bodies? It's, they literally just turned to ash to dust, and this is just blood, though. I Damn mean, yes, it's man. black. I, I mean, at least this one's not doing the sensor blood that is white. At least they're doing it black. Because I seen how they did and oh, big mistake on using the color white. At least they're using black. Yeah, I know these are blood at least. Jesus Christ, and even looking further down there, I just noticed there's more bloodshed. There will be blood. Poor Gusty. Gusty's trying to show me the 2D stuff they're working on, and I'm over here being depressed over what's going on in the game. You're just, a, you're just always depressed. Yet you're dating me. Savoring the moment, There's I can right feel your excitement, your yeah, eagerness right. to explore the unknown. Am I happy? No, I'm kidding. Well, okay. for once, the fate of the world doesn't rest on our shoulders. We might even get a chance to enjoy <laughs> ourselves. All right, let's near you fucking piece of shit. I know you're supposed to be right now. Do not be so quick to relax. Oh, Tural may seem but a short sail away on a map. The vast seas between brim with peril. The treacherous waters of Shade's Triangle alone have kept countless vessels. Even following the safe route plotted by Admiral Bufiswin herself, this will be no pleasure cruise. Thanks. 
I, I was trying to. Perhaps. But do my voyage here was uneventful enough. Disappointingly you're, you're so. You've a fine fucking impression about me. Wait, what, Either how, way, how the two of you have first hand like experience. Which will be of great you comfort the right in the days ahead, I'm sure. You have the right meow. And you better not you better not fucking kitten meow. Uh it's nothing new to us. All aboard! <laughs> We're casting off! <laughs> it's time. I trust you have everything you need. I want to see that second part, but I'm not gonna be that much of a douche. How are you enjoying the story, Nara? And uh, Noah? Nara. Right. Uh, it just started for you? Oh. And so does our ship cast off from the docks. Okay. We sail west, as Katendrand did some 80 years past, bound for the new world, known to our children as the continent of Toral. Blood and shit, but why do they look happy? What the fuck? Just wait, Papa. When this contest is said and done, it'll be your daughter who sits the throne. Me, Wokla Oh, I gotta go to Kaga. Oh, I don't wonder why I say that's uh, give me choice the second part. <laughs> nope, I'm not teleporting there. That's 1,000 bucks, so I'm good. Might as well just do these side quests. Sailing so far. Aye, so far so good. But this sea, she's a fickle one. Calm Might one well moment, blowing a gale the next. I'll take my rest while I can. Then. At least here I can fly. We left port what they seems an age ago here. now, and we've seen naught but open water ahead. Oh, I, did I knew Tural was far, but it's another thing to really know. But after this, I'm gonna do more Beast Tribe and Shadow Raiders. Speaking of which, some of our fellow passengers have made this trip before. Um, Several well, times, in fact. Them. I was able to learn a few things about Tuli Yolal and the right yeah, of succession. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not hurrying up and such. Oh, we didn't even queue us up. I did, I... Since I we just still have a long way to go, why here. not have a chat with them yourself? Crafters. No, I'm that, sure you fine. have questions of your crafting. own. Uh, but you can't now, just give me a minute and we'll them crafting them away. Okay. No, it's just I didn't know you were out of your crafting class, is all. <gasps> Did you look out across these same waters, uh, Grandfather? Oh, 
or got just to be able to get all that deal back. Nah, not only that, but just to fucking repair my own shit. Oh, you're a beat, that scene. Because uh, I... I've gotten so used to repairing my own shit to the point that I forgot that menders fucking exist. Legit, I just completely forgot yeah, the you know, I'll, I'll see her help him. I'll stay here and help this guy. Now I feel bad for not helping. Joseph actually likes uh, another melee DPS. Is that beast drive yet? Because uh, I know that I'm gonna be using it for five minutes. Yeah. I like the 82 on my Viper. Well, since I already know we're in for a proper storm, it seems. I streamer doing these side quests, I can literally <laughs> skip all that reading. <sighs> I'm your side quests, you don't need to really read them. How's your stomach? Any better? Story lore around these areas. I don't know what you mean. I don't get feasting. I watched a streamer doing all this, and I read what they. I'm just feeling a little nauseous. Is all. And I saw they were doing a beast tribe stuff. Isn't that what seasickness is? And this is when I didn't have the subscription, and I actually did some digging of the lore of the area. Oh, you were born in Tyrolean. And literally, some of these side quests gives more lore about the locations and such. The Shetona, as my people are called, have settlements mainly in the north. Now I guess we're going to skip all that side quest to get EXP. And your family? I know nothing of I my like father. Doing my homework not even his name. And being uh, literally have nothing to do. As for my mother. <sighs> oh. Oh. 
We can. I have not well, seen the ocean rage with such that's fury it. before or since. But this is long, but okay, that's something I gotta remember. The heaving waves tossed our ship about like a toy, okay, sending yeah, sailors tumbling. The dauntless Alize, quick to the rescue, was almost lost to the sea herself. to deploy the vessel's magical defenses and thereby shield us from the lightning. What an extraordinary life he must lead to be able to operate such a device with practiced ease. They joke about dingus. I know. Oklamat, too, threw herself into the rescue efforts. I decided to use Though AOE one might have mistaken her for another soul in distress. <laughs> I then used my single attacks. I was like, oh, what about these buttons? And came to really realization late. Oh, that's AOE. Oh, shit. I'm not going to do much damage. Ah! I died. By the time the unruly seas had calmed, our strength was all but spent. And we had yet to even glimpse the shores of Tural. Yeah. So that's what the horns will look like when they get older. In retrospect, of course, that battle against the storm would prove a fitting prelude to the coming contest for the throne. Back over here, over here, oh my god. Guy killed some tigers a long time ago. Or killed some fucking monkeys. Alright. Um, I'm almost level 93 now. I'm a crafter. Nice. Heal me, my chocobo. My chocobo, please heal me. Heal me, chocobo. You failed me. How could you? Yeah. I mean, they're level 480. Uh, I was fine at level 85 uh, monsters, even though I'm morning level 80. Joining us for some fresh air? <laughs> it was worth it. Shush. Seems my belly has settled along with the weather, but. I'll feel much better once we're on solid ground. But, but EXP though! Ugh. Can't be much farther now, can it? I mean, he does have a point. Seabirds! <laughs> Land must be near. You need only hold out a while longer. I'm trying to be a good 
player. For a dark moment, I thought the You're ocean might player. swallow us. Glad to have my yeah. pessimism proven I mean, wrong. It doesn't help my excess. So In other good news, I examined the sailor who took a fall, and he's faring well. I'm sure well, he'll make a full I think recovery. I got my issue, actually. Good news indeed. Why the fuck am I wearing if all's well, then we needn't delay in launching 18, the landing boat. Ships have to nine. lower anchor some way from shore. You go get your goddamn Too close, and they risk having their underbellies ripped open I, I, by the I reefs and crowd to Liola's coasts. Poetics. Come. I might uh, have to go do, you, do you have the old ones? I gave them to my retainer. What? You can't give it to your retainer. No, I mean. Before I couldn't touch them, like when I get to my ninja to level 90, I gave my level 80 stuff to my retainer. Well, Thanks for bringing us all this way. I can't, I have no access to them. Ha! We only did what we were paid to do. Couldn't hardly I set you drift so halfway. I triggered so badly. I'm gonna go to the guild house and go to if the market anything, and see it should if I be can us find thanking you for helping us through that. Beast of a storm. <laughs> As a matter of fact, everyone's starting to uh, fancy yeah, your chances you. in the oh, contest. Ow, <laughs> At this really rate, we hard. won't be oh, able to lay funny. wagers no more. Oh, actually, the guild house looks pretty. <laughs> then I better not let you down. Go oh, on, leave me alone. I'm, I'm just simply doing my best. Oh, easy stomach. Easy. Chat, my freaking grip is so triggered. We're the last to port. If there's nothing left to say, oh, then let's show off, shall we? My best. Oh, wait, maybe I won't able to purchase them. Uh, is there any accessories I can purchase? I don't know. I don't want to become a I can only buy myself one day, now I'm 20k. Ah, <sighs> blue seas, clear skies, and boundless possibilities. I dare say our destination will soon be inside. Oh, no, I didn't spend any on stuff for the house. Enjoying yourself for a change? I did. I've been spending on the dice. Does not. And, and, hold yeah, look, my can't friends. Be mad at me for this part, I'm about to say. Behold the scene of our next great so. adventure. Okay, <coughs> at last, we have come to the land of the new world. To, make some stuff for to me. my home. If that's Ta -da. okay. If not, that's fine. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe? Uh, maybe we'll... Oh, well, hold on. I just realized how pretty the guild house is when you go inside it. Holy shit. Oh boy, she's admiring. Hun, you need to come to our guild house. It oh, looks... I've been. Oh. I've been in there. My mobile nice. chair actually looks a lot better now. Wow, holy shit. And it actually looks more alive. Oh, wait. Can I see what gear you're wearing? Oh, you're... Wait, oh, oh. I think I still have this earring. Like, oh yeah, I can't wear the earring. Never mind. Damn it. Gods, I've seen cities with an impressive mix of cultures, but this is something else. Is that a... No. I've never seen Varnu feathers in that color before. 
You'll find much here you never knew existed. There may be a sea route now, but visitors to Tulihyolal are still few and far between. FYI, you can farm the tombstones. And as you, we don't uh, build seafaring ships, only a handful uh, of Turali ever venture abroad. That's good, by the way. Mamulja sells swords mostly. Those willing to play the fool sail with Lomins and merchants to secure employment uh, in Eorzea. I don't think me doing Beast Tribe is... Actually, I can't even... I suppose that makes us a rare moment. sight in your country. Uh, what do you rare mean? and currently like, undocumented. Like, the Were there some uh, forms we should fill out or... Oh, no, just, just... Forms? Did you oh, forget Lincoln. who you're and traveling with? Okay. Was in the voice cutscene. Okay, Grim. You're welcome. You to are honest, outsiders? I feel like you should just worry about Visitors to Tural? We are. I mean, yeah, I shouldn't work on Viper now. Our nation is soon to hold a right of succession to choose its next no, dawn servant. Uh, uh, we will not abide interference from mm. foreign agents seeking to foment trouble. What brings you to Tuli Yola? <laughs> I'm giving a grim a stroke. I can answer that. Because These fine expect, people you, are you allies in my succession to do, pick. To do, that in one, to do that in one day? <sighs> Thank you for the promise. If you vouch for them, then all is well. Not in one day. Of course. I do, Miss Reaper. Uh, please, accept our apologies. Not in one day. Uh, yes, I have. No need to bow and scrape. Hun, I don't know. Our soldiers are grinds. so diligent in their duties. Fills yeah, me with pride. Yeah, I think Grinds and, and, and fucking Endwalker was uh, fucking good, but uh, Dawn Trail. We'll be mm. continuing our patrol then. Hey, Grinds are much worse than what it looks like. They barely give fucking XP. Well, well. You Wait, really what? are a figure of authority here. Even the bonus? They are you suggesting you, like, I don't look the part? What happened? Didn't... I don't know. Anyway, like, first it, things it first. Give up much. Maybe it's because Square Enix saw that people were essentially doing like fate trains to speed level. And like, okay, we got first. Is, I bid you welcome the thing to Tulishola the best but it's not it's literally the fucking uh well, whatchamacallit the, the the dungeon runs is what actually speeds up the leveling by a lot and beast tribes I'm not trying to be an asshole, girl, just, but literally, it's fake grinds are horrible. It's not as it used to be.
That was a very, very hard lag spike. What happened? Uh, just my crafting macro didn't want to fucking register, and my character just stood still. Thousand, or three hundred thousand. Sorry, I misread that. Mm. That's not too bad. I mean, especially with the buff that you chose, right? Yeah. Also, really love how the dragon looks now. Yeah, it looks very fucking high quality. Yeah. I fucking love it. Like the wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh! Hey, finally. You might want to land down, sweetie. I know. That Me. actually didn't take that, that long. We did good, though, like in a fight. Fight as snipers. Yeah. We did. Hi, Mega. Hope your stream went well. Hey, Mega. Oh, honey, you know what? I also need to get, I need to get the hunts as well. Oh, yeah, that's definitely something we should do. Oh, you like my Viper uh, icon? You're going ahead, honey. I know. I got that one fake. Oh, uh, good luck. Make sure I have your good luck, Chris.
The one thing that I love about Sage, uh, not Sage, uh, the one thing that I love about um, Viper is that it has Gunbreaker sound effects. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah. Also, make sure you use uh, your uh, Dreadwinder. Winder. They give you like really fucking strong attacks. <clears throat> I feel bad and you're not doing much damage because of the fucking gear. Yeah, I mean, I think I might get better gear from here. I, I don't know. No, this is level 70. something. It won't give you something, Chris. This is level 70. I just need better than level 18 gear is all. That's oh, what yeah, I'm trying to yeah. say. You have 18. Yeah, 18 and level 9 and 50. <clears throat> Like a fucking gothic bitch. You mean the uh, sage? Yep. <clears throat> yeah, they probably look a lot more goth than me. I try yeah. to stay a little more adventurous. You look better than her. <clears throat> Thanks, honey. I was gonna say, like, I swear I'm trying to do the rotation, but I, when you say, like, gear, I'm like, oh, yeah, right, I don't have the best gear. And then don't beat yourself up. Yeah, Give no, I, no, I'm not going to, because I'm like, oh, I swear I'm doing uh, it the best I can. Oh, wait, that's right. So no, definitely myself, to, like, not only uh, that, but, so, you know, Viper is a new class. So I still got a lot to learn. I'm getting the hang of it. It took me a bit to understand it. That's good there was a video about it too, actually. Yeah. Also, you can dash uh, to your ally if you don't know. I already knew about it because since we can't really do damage when we do it.
something I can't wear, but it's made for my class. Fuck you, game. <laughs> I fall from that paying attention. Oh, hey, look. Accessory, I'll pass it to you. See, it's not an accessory for me, though. It should be. No, when I clicked it, it wasn't. Best time me getting a little lightheaded right now. Do you want to just stop streaming and rest? Because your health is a lot more fucking important. I'll do that after this. If that's alright. How many hours did you sleep? Uh, hmm. Well, we went to bed at around 10 for me. No, you told me I can go to bed early, which was 10. And then I woke up at 4 a.m. And I went back to sleep. And then I woke back up around 10 or 6. So you barely pretty much had any sleep. What? Because you keep saying that you keep waking up and then... No, it's just the... I, there was thunderstorm happening, and I thought I got enough sleep because I slept a lot longer. Just take, take a small nap, and then come back streaming after. That's I mean, I know. That's the best choice for you. I know the chat wouldn't mind that, so. And plus, I got a story to finish. I thought the surface went down or something. Grandpa? Oh, that top actually looks nice. I hate that I didn't get it, but...
Ah, it's the wind. The wind touched me. How dare you violate you? Wasn't there a shield ability that we could do or no? No. Oh, okay. And now I'm thinking of uh, Pixomancer. You're, you're thinking about Reaper. No, I was thinking about Pictomancer because I was having fun with that class. Dragons! No, there were tigers. Are the tigers? Yeah. Uh, my, my eyes are failing me. As you can clearly tell. That's right, sweetie. But I want to fight, but okay. The boss is like. No, no, wait for me. Oh yeah, we gotta grab these. That fight was easy. Never to hear Ura. What is the dungeon I am? I should probably start doing that. Da, 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 da. Please don't let me. I don't uh, want to let this fall. Hold on. Don't go. No, don't go. No, da, da. No. Wait. Wait, hold on. Oh, that's Ninja's arm. I'm an idiot. I'm so sad. Oh, well. <sighs> it is what it is. Ugh. All right, chat. I'm going to take a little break. I will be back to do more of a stream later. And I'll see you guys after a, a good... Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take my nap, so I will be right back, chat. So you enjoy your days, and I'll see you later. Bye bye. And we will, I and we, will protect, we the Mughal Knights, shall protect the kingdom. You oh, too late. Damn. Too late. I I ended. Damn. The fucking oh, well. A rank. Well, yeah. That that fight was actually kind of easy. What fight? Don't say it. I was gonna say, don't say. You're the you're the one that asked, Groot. I know. I'll just... be you, Grim. That's good. What I mean by that is like, what level? All right, Chris. Head back to uh, to Leo. Okay. Need to rest. Because okay. honestly, I'm, I'm actually. I, I need to actually fucking rest as well, but I think I'm gonna be fine by just chilling. Do you want me, do you want me to teleport us to Toril or? No, I can. Okay. Tolioli. That's how you say it. Tolioli. Tolioli. Tuliolal, or Tulioli, or Tuliolal. Tulila. <laughs> mm. 
I should be approaching the third dungeon soon, so I should be getting close to. I know, well, Gus. Still yeah, Gus telling me I need to rest. I'm doing what 98. Can I say eight. except you need rest? What can I say except to go to bed? Go to bed. Go to bed. Go rest. You know what, I'm gonna do this a favor. Everyone, uh, strip the um, blaze down. Strip them down. Oh, oh. fuck. Oh. I'm sorry, but Come on. that's your orders. Uh, we gotta strip them down. We gotta make sure you're not Asmodeus. Yep, hold on. Let me, let me get let me get a measure tape. Uh, I have to measure air cock. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah that, 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 that's a micro penis. Uh, the ear fit. I will be right. I should probably take a break from this game. Why not? And yet I'm I don't know, I'm doing 98 MSQ quest and I might be nearing my fifth dungeon. So you're Cutscene, so never mind, not voiced. I was tricked.
like ever. My companions must sample your heavenly tacos. One for each of us, please. Right away, promise. And I'll pack them tight with my choicest feelings. Only the best for you and your friends. Did you hear the Silver Scares are back? Seems their overseas foray ended in disaster. More than half their warband is missing, including their leader. Aye. And now keen to rebuild their broken reputations, the survivors seek the Golden City. <laughs> A fool's errand. How many hopefuls have disappeared in search of that fable? They should count their lucky stars they came home alive at all. The legend of the Golden City is well known here, I take it. It is, but as no one's ever seen it, many question if there is any truth to the tale. Like our skeptical Erinville. I can't imagine the Dawn Servant would request a formal survey for a place that doesn't exist. Now to find a spot with a pleasant view to enjoy our crunchy spoils. Isn't the third promise? Oh, no. I don't know these ones. <sighs> New salt. Dredge from foreign waters is my guess, brother. Of course, that's it. Wuklamat is so afraid of the coming contest that she went crying for special help. <laughs> Was there something you wanted, Bakul Jaja? <gasps> the third promise remembers us! Such an honor! Glory on your name, brother. <laughs> and on yours, brother. I know my rivals for the throne. Nothing more. Another child of the Dawn Servant? No, this brute. <laughs> we have no ties to their farce of a family. Unlike the sneveling house cut, we are blessed siblings, the elevated chosen. We alone are fit to succeed Golul Jaja as Don Servant. All peoples are equal in Tuli Hyola. Your Hi. heritage gives Hi. you no Hi. greater Hi. claim to the Welcome throne. Back. So you guys want to see what... <laughs> Shall we test that idea here so and now? Yes. See if your strength is equal to ours. I'm gonna play five chat. Yeah. None of this has any bearing on the right of succession, correct? Best not waste your energies on pointless scuffles. The kitten comes to the house cat's defense. You wanna get my blinky? Mmm, pathetic. Yeah. 
Since when was our nation overrun by mewling weaklings? <laughs> Listen to me, you! <laughs> Here. Is that better? A two-headed mamoja. I knew of them, ah, but that's the I first I've met. seen I in mean, the flesh. Messy, but we know who you met. Some get it into their twin heads yep. that they're destined to follow in my father's footsteps. Oh, so they travel to distant lands to hone their battlecraft. Oh my god, my cat's purring. Those are likely uh -huh. the ones you've heard about. Are there other two-headed claimants? No. Just Bakul Jaja. Even in Tural, his kind are far from common. The Mamulja people largely belong to one of three clans. The Hubio, the Bunewa, and the Dopro. Every once in a great while, a two-headed offspring is born from a union between the brown-scaled Hubiko and the blue-scaled Bunewa. The child grows to possess immense strength, both physical and magical. Blessed siblings indeed. Forget Ooh, them. Right Let's go and buy more tacos. I can think of nothing better to rid me of this bad taste in my mouth. Enjoying your tour of the city, I trust. We've seen our share of notable sights and took a moment to rest. As such, we're ready to present ourselves at the palace for the rite of okay. succession. Uh, Shall we meet you there? Yeah. I guess scroll back The palace up. it is. I'll let Wuklamart know. Destiny calls. Perhaps we can return for more tacos later? Ah, <sighs> so it goes. Okay, so... Here's this one. And Mr. Guster is on this one too. Oh, that looks so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask them to make the arms a bit thicker, though. Other than that, yeah. Yes. Alright. <laughs> okay, now that, now that I go to school. They both, they both do. Especially yeah. the one where the, the, the especially the ones that are bad. I don't know that Grim's gonna like that one. <laughs> okay. I don't know if them. 
check the back here, I'm like the second one. I'm going to delete this. It's just delete programs, is it? But yeah, there you go. You got to see the process so far. Yeah, that, look, that looks really awesome. Thank you. You're welcome.
Union? When did he get here? What's the point? Why is he here? Oh, you know this man? Whenever my father spots a promising opponent, he invites them to Sun Perch to duel. Pressing duties or no, he can't resist a good fight. So the one Astinian is crossing blades with... Receive my darling daughter. Know that you are the strongest I fought in many a moon, if not longer. It is the privilege of a life long lived to face such a formidable soul. <laughs> If it's formidable you want, then look no further than that man there. Hmm. I see you, warrior. We had no idea you meant to visit Taral. I've seen what lies east. This time I chose west. And thus did our itinerant dragoon make his travel plans. You witnessed our bout. If you thought he was fearsome, that was with one head dozing. I'm not sure I understand. The old man has been feeling his ears. The uncovered side is the head of resolve, and age has only deepened his love for combat. But the head of reason, wiser of the two, sleeps more and more these days. As I understand it, the veil helps with the restoration of his magical energies. Enough about me, Lamati. I want to hear of your adventures. Lamachi? A term of endearment. It's what my family calls me. Did we see you in the palace? A great in Southern Ash. It's Erinville now, Don Servant. I took the name while abroad, and have since grown accustomed to it. Hmm. Erinville, then. And these others, I assume, are Lamati's recruited allies. Ha! All tempered still. Yet as much as I'd enjoy testing their metal, the hour of the right is at hand. I will summon the other claimants at once. Then I shall leave you to it. Good fortune, my friends.
the Claymans are assembled. The first promise, Zorolja. The second promise, Ona. The third promise, Uglamat. And lastly, the chosen of Mamuk, Bakul Chacha. You four will compete in the right of succession, the outcome of which will decide who takes my place as Dawn Servant. I am not the man I once was. My wiser half sleeps the days away. And it is time I yield my position. But mine is a torch that has never been passed. Tuliolo is young. And so I look to the always for inspiration. The right of succession. The means by which the Autarch of Mamuk was chosen. Only the two headed were deemed fit for this contest. But the Tuliola I built is a nation of many peoples. Our leader needn't have two heads, nor be a Mamulja at all. <sighs> So I gave the right of claimant, not only to the son I sired, but to my adopted children as well. Yet the opportunity to rule was still not equal. That is why a recent tournament offered a place in the contest as the winning prize. <laughs> now you have us to compete against. Ah, oh, though it seems the one head was already too afraid to face us in the tournament. <laughs> Our brother was in shock to Rol leading the Landsguard on a campaign to eradicate a Turol Vidral. Anyone with sense would know he was too busy for games. Now for the part you've been waiting to hear. The nature of the contest itself. to triumph in the right of succession, and thereby claim our nation's throne, you must travel the lands of Yocturol, and find the city of gold. If I may, father. Speak, Kona. The Golden City is an ancient Turali legend, but after so many failed attempts to find it, the story has become more fairy tale than fact. If you would charge us with such a quest, are we then to assume you have proof of the city's existence? Are you for us proof, my unbroken word? For I have seen it with my own four eyes. The city's real. All those years. This was before the founding of Tuliol. I traveled the lands of Turol with my companions. And we ended our journey at the gates to the Golden City. I mean to have you do the same. 
But in order to achieve victory proper, you need to break the seal I put in place. Bring them. Saga. You will retrace the path I walked to unite our peoples step by step. Along the way, seven chosen electors will be waiting to measure your worth. Earn their keystones by performing the feats they ask of you. Once you've fitted each of the seven tablets with the keystone, you'll have the key to unlock the seal on the Golden City's gates. So the contest is in stages, none of which can be skipped by rushing to the ultimate objective. Exactly. Exciting, isn't it? Martial tournaments, hunting festivals, and now this? You do so love your contests, Papa. <laughs> Were I a few years younger, I would have joined in myself, giving you a proper challenge. You may think the ride is tedious or nonsensical, or both. I am yielding our nation's throne. Let me have this final indulgence. T a waste of time. Just name Bakunja a successor and be done with it. The right of cessation begins now. I'll be watching you progress with great interest. And Clement, remember to collect your tablets before you leave. You are one of Lamachi's allies. Speak freely. I am Cryo Baldessian, representative of the students of Baldessian. My name is perhaps familiar to you? Ah. It would seem you sent this letter to my order some years ago. The ink has since faded and much of the writing is illegible. Even so, we managed to determine the essence of it. A request to investigate the Golden City. Addressed to my grandfather, Galuf. Included with the correspondence was this earring. A fairy tale and a piece of jewelry were enough to convince my grandfather to sail halfway across the world. So there is surely some greater mystery at work here. On behalf of the students, I've come to seek clarification on the matter. Have you any knowledge you might share with me? Ha <laughs> ha 
No, not at this time. I have tasked the claimants with finding the Golden City. To fulfill your request, would afford one of them an unfair advantage in the rights of succession. But once the contest is decided, I plan to entrust the entire truth to my successor. If you want to hear it, then you had best help Lamachi win. Very well, Dawn Servant. On my honor as a student of Baldessian, I will find your golden city. Thank you for hearing my petition. How about that? She's grown into a remarkable young woman. Our third promise is not one to take no for an answer. Though you may have agreed to help, I worry that you were swept up in her relentless enthusiasm. Or perhaps you've been lured by the glory of the Golden City. Either way, this contest for the throne will place you and yours at the heart of political turmoil. If you are second-guessing your decision, tell me now. This may be my last chance to help you withdraw. Life is a series of journeys, my friend. And there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. But what's important is to be true to yourself as you walk it. Only then can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. Is that so? I will speak no more of it then. As for my own involvement, I can no longer conduct myself as a mere guide, I think. Not after the Dawn Servant's revelation. Soroja! Such a fearsome mean. Make no mistake, there goes Tuliola's mightiest warrior. First promise, our village needs aid. The cold weather stunts our crops, and the children of our village go hungry. Once you ascend the throne, I beg of you, Grant my people new lands, please! Sir Elja. Take heart, tiller of the soil. The resilient son, blood heir to the dawn servant, has heard your pleas.
Soralcha, the first promise and commander of the Landskap. Soralcha, the palace seer. As he was so careful to remind the crowd, Soralcha is indeed the natural child of Guru Jaja. And resilient son, is that another title, like the first promise? After a fashion, common knowledge has it that two-headed Mamulja cannot sire children. Yet Soralja was born all the same, with the head of Resolve's features and the head of Reason's scales. An extraordinary example of life's unyielding resilience. And a warrior's reticence. He says little, but the way he moves... I know a hardened soldier when I see one. He's a natural swordsman, a gift he inherited from his father. Some even say that the son has already surpassed the sire. Should he come to power, the first promise means to employ that martial prowess in the conquest of foreign lands. For this, he and his supporters have been labeled expansionists. This puts him in direct opposition to Wuklamat, who advocates for the preservation of peace. You may recall that she spoke of a claimant who cannot be allowed to rule. That is Soralja, the warmonger. Kryl, are you all right? <sighs> the echo... It gave me a glimpse into Zoralja's ambitions. Deep and unknowable, like an abyss. Yet at the same time, a roaring, unquenchable fire. <sighs> it was a trifle terrifying, to be frank. You must bring us more marvelous conveniences, more dirigibles and trains and the like. We need you in charge to make trading easier. The elders, they complain and complain about abandoning tradition. But we're not like them, afraid of everything foreign and new. You have our wholehearted support. With your ingenuity and knowledge, you're sure to win the contest. Forgive me, but the right of succession is barely begun. I will hear your petitions if and when I am named Don Servant. If you will excuse me. Plain spoken, as always. <laughs> oh, that's our corner. Practical to a fault. Here we have Kona. The second promise, to spend time as a pupil at Charlian's own studio. Now that you mention it, I think I did see him in the halls once or twice. There was nothing to suggest he was Turali, much less from a royal family. That was by design. He forwent his usual garb and took an Eorsian name to avoid attention. So it was Kona who introduced the dirigibles. And the railway too, given what we just heard. In furtherance of his goal, to enrich Tuliolal with every bright notion he learned of in Sharlian. He is the hope of those who prize innovation. As aloof as he may seem, Kona and Wuklamat actually get along rather well. They bicker and banter as only close siblings do. Gracious of you all to cheer the lesser claimants. <laughs> Don't 
So, come now. What are you afraid of? I'm no different from your dawn servant. That my kind should reign is Mamulja tradition. And has been so since before there was a Tuliola. I'll brush aside your feeble contenders. And then you'll see who deserves your fealty. <laughs> <laughs> well said, brother. The Mamuncha have finally found peace in Tuliolal. A pity those fanatics are intent on keeping that tradition alive. The chosen of Mamuk, Bakul Jacha, winner of the recent martial tournament. And the only claimant not of the Dawn's promise. His strength is undeniable. But... You see how he is. A few devoted Mamulja are his only supporters. What would he do with the throne should he win it? His policies and so forth. I doubt he's thought much beyond winning the contest itself. But one thing seems certain. If he does become Dawn Servant, he will see the Mamulja exalted as the ruling class, and all others forced into subservience. Sounds like another that cannot be allowed to rule. for one thing and one thing only, Third Promise. To abide together in harmony with our neighbors whom we love in this land we share. It is our way, the Turoli way. Galul Jaja built for us this peaceful nation, and we beg you to preserve it. You have my word. I won't let your pleas go unanswered. Until Tuliolal was founded some 80 years ago, this continent was ravaged by war. The eldest among us remember that dark era, and they are Wuklamat's most ardent supporters. Apologies, it's hard to get away. This is Namika, my childhood nursemaid. She's been like a mother to me my whole life. I told her it wasn't necessary, but she insisted on seeing us off. I place our precious third promise into your care. Did you know Wuklamat was taking part in the Rite of Succession? Of the Dawn's promise? I thought it was only Zoralja and Kona. If she has any accomplishments to her name, I've yet to hear them. Compared to the two Mamulja, she pales in martial prowess. And then there's Kona who's far and away the most educated of the bunch. I hate to say it, but it's hardly a competition. It's fine. More than anyone, I understand how much better my brothers are than me. Better? Wuklamat, I have never thought of you as the lesser sibling. Your brothers may excel in their respective ways, but you boast qualities that both lack. A strength that is yours alone. Having cared for you for so long, I should know. Thank you, Namika. Well, we ought to be on our way. 
Yes, hurry along. I await word of your victory with bated breath. Unmute my mic. Just cause oh, snap, their fans are going out, okay. That and so I don't actually like spoil spit to pour to someone that's in the Discord call. That's far this point of the story. There I go, I'm going to break my character's legs again. only almost two hours into the story. Bye.
Upbeat music. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Oh, I do have everything. Because I have yet to leave the state, there's probably nothing for it to be used for. <laughs> How these cannons look then? Oh fuck, this is nice. What the hell? This is the one that can. Things I need to get rid of, don't they? <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god, why did I speak that while yawning? What the f- <laughs> Okay, so now we're getting fucking west. Lev's culinary import court. What the fuck is the court of necessity? How far he'll go? Many things. Ja. Somehow it's not worth it. Like, if I point at the field the moment I try to grab a side quest and I can shoot it out. Two hours and then I'm going to be halfway to level 91. Oh boy! It's gonna be fun! And considering I'm at item level 660, the 645s will pull it off on opening. new area for me outside the city. Kosamauka, the land of rainbow terraces. It commands the gaze of all who visit without fail the many colored marvel. An endless torrent of water cascades over sheer cliffs to shape the wetlands below. To its relentless flow, all life must yield. Together with Wuklamat, we proceeded along the marshy trail, a road upon which the Dawn Serpent and his comrades once traveled. the weight of that water. The Isle of Han was impressive. 
But as you can see, Tolihiola does not want for natural wonders. The ground is swampy, so watch your step. You wouldn't want to fall into a bog. I won't. I told you I've been here before. Come on. Okanu isn't much farther. places. <laughs> Earth in the Shire. <laughs> uh, poor. Continue. I
And we're to go back. Ow! Fuck. My desk. There's something the third promise is there. Good thing she has hair and feather keep her from getting lost. <laughs> well, I'm just going to just to be dead. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Finally, right about. This might be the first. Has arrived. And the worst for wear is a procession third promise. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, so she's clumsy as well. Best you not to say I should have put it up here. There you go. But you do have no
gems to make sure here. Get the ether right before I continue this part. I can forget I'm not gonna get, get a fast way back in the heat. I'm too far away. Maybe this is both the best and she's in the corner. Making feather tails for the first time out. I fucking joke about There's a lot of well nearby that. No sign of Zorolja. Or that oversized lout. How much easier it would be if Soroja were to fail here. But that isn't likely to happen. Honored guests, I am Zanu Hali, elder of the Hanu. I am also an elector, charged with judging which among you is worthy of ascending the throne. Without further ado, let us talk of the feat. Not so fast. Surely you couldn't begin without us. But... Eh, you made it after all.
No need to fuss. There is no time limit for this challenge. Now, if you would allow me to proceed. It is here, in Okanu, where my people forged a bond with the Dawn Servant during our own chapter of the Tuli Yolal Saga. In homage to those events, I have prepared for you the Feet of Reeds. Reeds seem to be of great importance to the Hanu. I wonder what this feat entails. We use reeds in every part of our lives, be it as food or weaving material. But look around the nearby paddies, and you will see that this season, our crops are failing. How fortunate, then, that my appointment to Elector coincided with this predicament. For surely, those who aspire to be Dawn Servant would find the matter of an ailing harvest a mere trifle to resolve. Aye, well, it is indeed the duty of a ruler to address the people's woes. <laughs> exactly, exactly! Do well in this, and you will earn my keystone. Why bother mucking about in the mud, when we can take the stone by force? Oh, mercy me! You are a hot-headed fellow, Bakul Jaja. Some electors may enjoy going toe-to-toe -to -toe with scrappers like you, but I refuse to entertain your base instincts. Arrangements have been made. Should you attempt to engage a feat giver in combat without their consent, word of your immediate disqualification will be sent to the palace. If you're still feeling feisty, then by all means, draw your weapon. Do it, asshole. Dare you. <laughs> this contest is presided over by cowards. There's no sport in fighting you. Then we can return to the business of earning my keystone. The feat of reeds is begun. Claimants, I wish you the best of luck. Huh. The clever kitty crossed the seas to study foreign novelties. He might know tricks we don't. Tricks we can use. What of little Miss Mittens? <laughs> you know the answer to that. Compared to the first and second promise, she's a distant third. Not even in the running. Then we see eye to eye on this brother. Being Bakul Jaja so long with me has rubbed off on you. <laughs> These allies of hers, though, they might be a problem. Just as qualified to be here as they are. I'll show them. Easy now. There's no time limit, remember? Let's keep calm and think things through. Right. You're right. I won't win against that lumbering vidrol by losing my head.
Bam! Close. This is kind of good to know that like the feet and the legs are part of the double die system. I'm just picking up feet for chests. Oh, it's so far away. Yes. soil. Soil's fine. If the water's fine, there's probably something else. Either the seeds are bad or outside influence.
that was a possibility. <laughs> yeah, strange things have happened. Is the damage oh. oh oh I think I see where it is <laughs> okay I already see I saw the most obvious one. I... Oh, I did not notice that. Okay, so that's two. Where's the third one? Oh. They were all pretty obvious, I just never noticed. <laughs> that is a good question.
that's actually a good play. Would be a problem. Oh, That would explain it. Focus. Is a possibility, I'll we'll find out. <laughs> And even if it's not, it might give us the... It give a clue as to what's actually going on. Oh, 
Christ by our instincts is the better option. I guess town? Wrong thing. Fucking attack. Goddamn turtle. Yeah, that's the first out of this area. Packers. Village of all. Plus the water's high. Up a large tree near five, but I should warn you to climb up the stairs <laughs> challenging. Me. Wait, does he have a horn in his head? Right. The greeting. He does have a horn on his head. Oh Kali. Why is this fucking Mandeville quest levels of goofy? Good! You 
brought your manners with you. When in Okano, do as the Hanu do. For a country as diverse as ours, the preservation of harmony demands that we respect the cultures of all peoples who call it home. Well, that explains your familiarity with Hanu customs. You! You're Wu Clamont! Oh, what an unexpected honor for old Wu Kevu! <laughs> Here I am prattling on about manners, and I've gone and insulted the third promise herself! There is no excuse for this betrayal of etiquette! Take up your axe and claim my impudent head! I will not. Keep your head. I hate formalities anyway, so forget about it, alright? Alright then. Consider it forgotten. So bad Genesis 2. So We're actually here about the Ihihana float. It's in bad shape, and we need you to craft new carrying poles and a new eye. I'm told you work with Uyuipo wood and a certain kind of stone? Er, uh, Abokisha? That I do. But while I would like nothing more than to offer my services, I just used the last I had of both those materials. My lumber in particular went to fixing homes damaged by the recent storm. I'll need ten days or so to restock. We can't wait that long. If you tell me where to go, I'll gather them myself. What? Send the third promise out on an errand like some common lackey? That's utterly unconscionable. A gross violation of social protocol. <laughs> I told you not to worry about such things. All right then. I shan't worry a whit. <laughs> I like this old guy. What's with your Hanu friend there? I am festival leader this season, and have come along to oversee the float's repair. As strange as it may sound, Wuklamat and her friends believe the float is an arcane focus, meant to encourage the growth of our struggling reeds. Hmm... Too many Hanu have forgotten, it seems. But that is indeed the true purpose of the lifting of wings. Your education is impressive, Third Promise. Huh. Well, maybe a little. Allow me to show you where to procure Uyuipo. We can leave the Abokisha to your friends, I presume? Take yourself to Cave Kikitola, or thereabouts, and you should find the stones you need. I've been there once or twice. I can guide you. That should save us some time. Yeah. All right then, let's get moving. Chosen one, one of your rivals is making progress.
<sighs> Iliana, you say? <laughs> Should our first choice fail to deliver, it might be wise to let this play out. <laughs> The third-rate promise is making herself useful, after all. go all the way back down to here. Oh, so those are like passive aggressive.
Not sure we heard you right, old man. Why don't you say that again? As many times as you'd like. The Third Promise tasked me with repairing this lot, and I'll not relinquish it to an uncultured brute like you. Much less one that can't even manage a simple greeting. We wanted to handle this in a civilized way, but we're more than willing to <laughs> kill you. We have a two-headed problem. Yes, please hurry. She's on her way back already? Stand back, Wukevu! I will protect the float! <laughs> Are you trying to be brave, little bird? I could never have repaired the float alone. Not properly. But thanks to Wuklamat and her friends, we can hold Ihihana again! This is a priceless treasure! And as festival leader, I would die to protect it! Uh, very well. If that's what you want. Good. The better for you to understand the gulf between us. But you need more lessons. We'll carve them into your mangy hide until you cry and beg forgiveness. Your brilliant plan was to steal the float and take the credit. The so-called blessed siblings are nothing but cheats. <laughs> Your scorn is sweet music. Come, weaklings. We'll crush you each in turn. Or all together, if you like. Calm yourself, Chosen One. If you fight in earnest, this will end in a massacre. What's more, we have word that our other prospect is on the verge of success. Hmm. Then it would be foolish to expand effort, sweating nuts. <laughs> Lucky for you, eh? Ugh, two heads. I see my mook still clings to that loathsome hope. Third promise? You're not dying, are you? <laughs> It'll take more than that to kill me. So, are we having this festival or not? Yes! Yes, we are!
So few have come. Patience. Once Ihihana gets underway, no Hanu will be able to resist joining in. Just so. Ukebu knows well the heart of the Hanu. Have faith, Third Promise, and climb aboard the float. It is time for the lifting of wings. Off we go! Ikihana is a prayer for bountiful harvest. But this is not its only meaning. It is also an exchange of pledges between rider and bearers. A commitment to a long and fruitful friendship. Listen well, friends! The personage we bear today is Wuklamat, the savior of our beloved festival! Let your shoulders burn or your feathers fall out, but do not even think of dropping her! Ready and... <laughs> I could get used to this. Will him 
empty belly stop you from joining in the fun? Come and help us carry the float! Well, well, well. To see the day that Dawn's promise would ride our boat again. <laughs> We've not had the honor since you were here, good old Jaja. Right. We've enough bearers now. Onwards to Kozanuaki! Watch well, for you are about to bear witness to the true glory of Ihihana! The float draws upon our life force, concentrating and amplifying the energy. Kishaihi then receives that energy and expels it in a great burst where it showers down upon the land to replenish its vital currents. It worked! Like a literal charm! The float really was helping the reeds! That was... amazing! To think that such a thing was even possible! Some of them still look a bit sickly. I imagine even the harvest magic has its limits. If the Hanu continue their festival tradition year after year though, the entire field should eventually recover. Where does that leave us with the feet then? You've got nothing to fear on that account. Our situation could never have resolved itself. The revival of even a single reed 
would have served to demonstrate your commitment to the task. That you recognized the nature of the float and found a near perfect solution in Ihihana proves your dedication. What's more, I don't think I've seen the festival produce such impressive results since I was a mere chirper. Ah, we have been lax in maintaining the float, diluting its magic and reducing Ihihana to hollow theater. I was delayed by an unpleasant encounter, but it seems I arrived at a good time. Isn't that wonderful? What? You just pour in some mystery liquid and problem solved? Stagnant ether was to blame for the reed's poor condition. I assumed that was an alchemical concoction which enhances ethereal conductivity. It utilized the flowing water as an ethereal current, thereby promoting the transfer of life energies. A method I could not have devised without the education I received at the Studium and the cooperation of my Archon allies. Archon allies? You see, Lamachi, this is why we need to embrace foreign knowledge and technology. Employed appropriately, they make light work of what would otherwise be arduous labor. There's no need to lug around heavy floats. Well, you always were the clever one, brother. Your approach was no less effective, Wuklamart. It achieved the same result. Indeed it did. And you enjoyed the festival, yes? I did! It was so much fun! Having visited your village before, I thought I knew everything about it. As it turns out, I knew very little. About the reeds, about Ihihana. With all I've learned this time, I feel as though I've really come to know the Hanu. And I like you even more now than I did before. The feeling is mutual. And it's not just you who had a lot to learn either. I'll never look at our float the same way again. The two of you have exceeded expectations. Come forth and claim your stones. So this is what they look like. Go on, set it in the tablet. A perfect fit. That leaves six more. And on to the next. Not even a moment of celebration. That's Kona for you. A third promise? You must join us for Ikikana next season. 
yes, Dawn Servant, of course. Right. It's back to Torihyola for now. Thank you for having us. I look forward to seeing you all again. <laughs> These are interesting times indeed. The concoction was brewed by Kona himself. It's a test vial, but it should contain the same reagents. Good work. We'll use whatever we must to win. For win we must.
to rally poets of yore sang of a mountain that would stand tall even should all other lands sink beneath the sea. Indomitable and eternal, it arises from Urkopacha, the hundred peaks of time. Of all the beasts which crawl and fly, only the legendary Valikarmanda could hope to disturb the summit's serene majesty. Yet with that flying calamity imprisoned by the dawn servant, what great feat remains for those who would claim the throne? So this is Urkopacha. I've never actually been here before. <sighs> the air is so crisp and clear. Mountains everywhere you look. That one massive peak in particular has quite the presence. It puts me in mind of Som Al. That is Warkor Sormor, the tallest mountain in Yogtural. Its sheer height makes it an imposing climb. But there are other reasons the ambitious keep their distance. Oh? Do tell. <sighs> Where to begin? Excuse me, but you're Wuk Lamat, are you not? I, I hadn't thought to encounter one of the Dawn's promise here of all places. But I should introduce myself. I am Bol Nok, a weaver by trade. Well met, Bol Nok. We're on our way to Watrun Pelo. Oh, truly, <laughs> I've just come from there, as it happens. I'd ask the Pelo Pelu who sell me their wool to give me a tour of their alpaca ranch. The head rancher and I shared a bottle of mezcal while he explained the finer points of wool production. Mezcal? Is that a local beverage? It's an Urko Pacha specialty. A spirit made from distilled agave heart juice. Yes, and it must have done wonders for my mood, for I tripled my usual order of alpaca wool. Uh, they did offer me a discount, though, so it wasn't a bad deal in the end. <laughs> Ah, but listen to me, boring you with my tedious stories. I, I will leave you before you are lulled to sleep. Uh, goodbye, and safe travels! Oh, silly me! I almost forgot to say the thing I actually wanted to say. Peace for Tural. I agree with your vision, Third Promise. You have my support in your bid for the throne. I gather from his tale we would be foolish to underestimate Pelu Pelu merchants. Yes, they do more than run the markets in Tuliola. Pelu Pelu peddlers can be found everywhere in Tural traveling from place to place on their sturdy alpacas. They are effusive and engaging speakers, and many is the customer who's been talked into spending more than they bargained for. Hm. They won't find this customer so easily charmed.
Deducing the Dawn Servant's Elector was the first step of defeat. Too simple a task for this aspiring ruler, eh? Right. Not hard at all.
The Roger? I am told the head ledger, Tobli, is to be found here. You have to guess which one of us is Tobli. That's part of the test. You're Tobli. Without even asking a single question. Very impressive indeed. Without amusing prologue out of the way, we can proceed to the actual challenge. Per the Dawn Servant's instructions, I was free to devise any manner of feat. I considered the number of possibilities in the tenth column. But I think I have a good one. You must go forth and capture for me an alpaca. While I've not had the best experiences with alpacas, aren't they generally docile creatures? That doesn't sound like much of a challenge. <laughs> Bring out the example! This is a special kind of alpaca. Would you please approach the animal, Third Promise? Who? Me? Well, it should stay calm if I stay calm, right? That's what Aaronville said. being both extremely curious and extremely cowardly. Press your luck when they're frightened and you'll get a face full of spit, as you've all just witnessed. Has an awful stench, their expectoration. The globs contain half-digested food, you see, making it an effective deterrent against perceived threats. Wild valley breeds like this one are especially timid and can therefore be quick to lash out. <laughs> They're also especially hardy. Indeed. We take the rugged wild alpacas and breed them with our gentle domesticated stock. This produces the strong but beatable pack animals prized by our traveling merchants. <sighs> That's all well and good. But did I need to bathe an alpaca spit for you to make your point? So, the task is to catch a wild alpaca. That is correct. But be warned that it is a feat easier said than done. I suggest you prepare well before you enter the valley where the creatures dwell. And by you, I mean the claimants only. Allies are not permitted to assist with the catching. The alpacas will help me judge which of you is worthy of receiving a keystone. So I'm to chase down a fluffy, spitting demon, and that somehow proves I'm fit to rule? 
<laughs> As I said, the Dawn Servant granted me the freedom to decide my challenge. And when you reach the end of the rite, I dare say you will understand why I chose what I chose. Very well. This won't take long. Wait! Didn't I warn you this was easier said than done? There are preparations to be made, factors to consider. A beast is a beast. All yield to strength. So far, this experience has done absolutely nothing to improve my opinion of alpacas. But that doesn't mean I can't do this. Revolting spit aside, they're just another animal. Are you all right, or Clamart? We thought we heard you scream. The third promise does not scream. It was more of a startled yelp. A uh, scream, in other words. <clears throat> Did you find the Elector? Oh, we certainly did.
thanks. I don't need it. Truth be told, still not sure about alpacas. I'd rather not go near one if I can help it. But if I'm to rule this nation, then I'll need to learn how to live with them. Tural is their home too. Right. I'm off. So, shall we head back to the ranch, or...? I'm staying here! As will I. Wachlamart is alone in this. The least we can do is stand watch and await her return. It may be a while yet. Help me pitch the tent. Trust a Galena to come prepared for anything. What's it? Gleaner. Someone whose job it is to travel the world and procure uncommon things for their employers. Erinville specializes in finding animals, I believe. But aren't you a Shetona from Shaktural? Why did you cross the salt? When I was much younger, the thought of leaving Tural never even occurred to me. But then, some years ago, my mentor tasked me with a difficult hunt. Something I could never find, she said, so long as I clung to the familiar. She suggested that I leave home, leave Tural, and join the cleaners of Charlian. As one of their number, I could experience the world, immerse myself in myriad cultures and customs, see the many faces of nature, and once I had learned what is truly important, I would find that which I seek. My younger self took those words to heart, and off I went to become a cleaner. Her words alone moved you to leave behind everything you'd ever known? You must have great respect for your mentor. As it happens, cleaner work was much to my liking. And I all but forgot why I had pursued it in the first place. Yet, events conspired to put me back on the trail I'd abandoned. Wait, are you saying you were tasked with finding this city of gold? I was, and though my hunt is now entangled with the right of succession, I mean to see it through. Well then, I understand completely. We all have our reasons for seeking the Golden City. Which is all the more reason for us to work together. <laughs> Just so. Wait, do you hear that? <laughs> I did it.
You are utterly spent, and small wonder. Well done, Third Promise. The ranch isn't going anywhere. Take a rest in the tent. I think I will. Thank you all for believing in me.
granting passage to Shatural.